Welcome to 17th of May's Scholarly Blessing. Supreme Father says, May you be a jewel of contentment and remain constantly content and give others the experience of contentment through your drishti, attitude and acts. Drishti, the way we look at people, things, situations, attitude, our attitude towards them and situations and acts. With the speciality of constant contentment, constant contentment, special souls in the Brahmin clan remain content themselves, first with themselves and with the drishti, attitude and actions also give others the experience of contentment the way you look at others if somebody is trying to stop your work if somebody is trying to become a hurdle in your life not letting you promote or not letting you go ahead in life so your drishti towards that person how is that if you're content i'm fine whatever is coming in my life if your drishti is content if your attitude doesn't change towards them and your actions are also perfect also give others the experience of contentment so they also feel like that they are jewels of contentment who constantly experience golden flowers of contentment being showered on them by Bab Dada with their thoughts, words, acts. They are jewels of contentment who constantly experience golden flowers of contentment, his rays, Godfather's rays, being showered on them by Bab Dada with their thoughts, words, acts, connections and relationships in a gathering. So they always feel like when they're in a gathering, when they're connecting with others, with their words, their thoughts, they are coming back as a feedback of contentment from others also and from themselves also. Such jewels of contentment become the garland around Bab Dada's neck. Of victory, obviously. They claim a right to the kingdom and also become part of the rosary rotated by devotees. So, Santoshima is also remembered as a goddess of contentment. So, when you are actually enacting your contentment through your thoughts, words, acts, connections and relationships, you become Santoshima-like soul. Om Shanti.